this video today we're going to show you how to export any files onto your own personal devices. So what we're going to do, we're going to right click here and then the options bar will come up at the top. We're going to click playback first and then select a camera. What we're basically doing here is we're finding the date or the time that we want to do, make sure there actually is a video there where you're... So if your settings aren't completed accurately, you won't actually find what you're looking for in that date and time because the date and time registered wrong. So this is just a good way to check that you're looking at the right date, the right time, it's all configured properly. So we can see here that we've got recording from 9.58 until 10.05 roughly. So, and that's again on the date of the 13th of April 2019. We can use that later on when we search where we look for the video that we want to export. So then what we do, we go into file management and then these options will come up here. So you can select different options of where you're looking for. So if you have something that goes three weeks ago, it's beyond the last 14 days, press, press custom and then you can select it manually what you're looking for. We're just going to search for today and then you can also select which cameras you're looking for. If you've previously used tags, you can look here and see for that specific tag that you're looking for. Again, event type is the same thing. If you only want to find where there's a motion detection, it will refine your searches to that. If you have plate recognition on your camera, you can again use that as well. And with files, <clears throat> so if you're looking for only locked files, only unlocked files, that can again refine your search some more. We're just going to search for all, and then we're going to press search. So, a series of things just come up, t dates, times, anything like that. So here's the part where it's talking about if they're locked files or unlocked files. These are all unlocked. So select which one you want to do. You can also press view here to see what the video is that you're selecting, just to double check that it is the right one. And then we press export. So it's going to ask you for video analog or player. What you're going to select is video analog and press OK. Then you select which device you're looking for and there will be options here saying MP4, default or AVI. If you have an 8 megapixel camera you can't actually use AVI, oh well, you can but it won't always be supported so it's a safer option to go for MP4 and then if you want it in AVI form you can later go on and convert that on your computer, laptop and device like that. With here we also press formats, so it will say um, there's file allocation table 32 and MTFS. The default on this device is um, the file allocation table, so we're just going to stick to that and press OK. And then it will be formatting it. And then once that's done, it will tell you that it succeeded and you can press OK. Okay. 